Drowning hazard? Yeah, probably. It's a tunnel that water flows through. I photographed that? That's what I thought. Only one pack of batteries left. Really? We're that low? Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Wow. And that door's not gonna open. The old Burma water tunnel. Let's see how this place is doing. I wouldn't get my hopes up. What is that over there? That's weird, right? There's a flashing item over there. It almost looks like a first aid kit, but like I wouldn't expect health to be matter in this game. That's a very good. broken ladder. Broken handrail. Let piece of broken ladder falling on the floor is redundant because I already photographed the broken ladder, I suppose. There must be what I get over there because there's an item like waiting for me over there. Oh yeah, we're fine over we're, we can just do this. If light is red, the area behind the door is flooded or the door may have technical difficulties. A uh, flood door cannot be opened while light's red. If it's green, it's safe. Can be only open then. Do not be under flood door while it's closing. It may result in your death. Well, seems safe now. Can I reach the mysterious item? It was right here, right? Stop. Let me up. Oh. This is how you get in trouble. This may be one of those real quick. <laughs> right now in relation to that item I saw. They have themselves a little, like, private camping spot? I think I was way over there when I saw the item, so I'm not really near that anymore, I don't think. Oh, hey. Looks like those unmarked keys from the forest guard's cabin had to use after all. It opened this? Oh, it's the secret money stash. This is the acquisition sum of my company. Um... If I ever want to be able to track down Walter, I need to keep this outside of any official accounting in order to avoid any other unwanted attention. I can use this money for bribing, should I ever should I ever come to that. Either way, a pretty strange choice to pay such a large sum in cash. There's definitely something fishy going on. I'm playing this by his own rules and with his money. Hartman. He seems to just be full paranoid, basically. But he might be right? But this- he's going through some That's lengths here. There's all- that, the beer is in there, too. That ongoing joke beer they keep referencing to is still- is also stashed in here. So I found the stash of money that was referenced to in the- in the guardhouse. Let's try not to fall. I'm not entirely sure how we'll get back up. Or even if the game might just straight up kill you if you fall certain in certain places or something.
Anything up there important? No? Oh, I fell. Might be in some trouble here. There is a ladder going to the water. Screw it. Did I just die? No? That was a peculiar screen effect. There you are. Official game piece. Geocache. There isn't anything inside it. Ah, uh, yeah. Found a completely pointless geocache, I guess. And now I'm gonna die. Must be. Whoa. Whoa. This game does not want you going in the water. That was like a severe reaction. Huh. That was bizarre. He started saying something, but I guess we won't know what it was now. set. Oh, does it lower automatically? That's terrifying. Am I gonna get trapped in here? Uh-oh. Wait. That was a transition. Oh, no! I think I just made permanent progress that I might want to undo. That's... That's the trick, isn't it? Yep, chapter three. Nope. Save slot two. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna go backtracking to before the cave, I guess, because there's more ch there's more stuff I want to check out. But uh, that's definitely put him no return. That door that closes behind you. That's terrifying, by the way. If we take this as being real life and not a jokey thing. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to redo the secret real quick. Like that's terrifying to think about, by the way. That uh. I got... You get trapped forever behind this closing door, like, in this abandoned facility. That's that's how you die. Alright, we're exiting out of the cave. If nothing else, we're sort of starting to learn what points of no return might look like. Something mechanical that functions as a one-way direction, probably. Well, the first one was kind of mean, because it's something that could have caught me by surprise. It was an elevator that broke. But at that point, we didn't really... I don't think we had stuff to miss out on yet. But basically, if I if I use a mechanical thing to get around, I might want to expect it to break. Oh, if I managed to hardcore parkour my way into here, I might have been able to escape. Looks like it. I was curious about what if I tried to jump in because it's an open ceiling. Well, you're not any help, are you? And this is not even a real door; it's a two-dimensional model. And I've learned before that if I go in water, I'll basically die, like some sort of creature that dissolves. And over there, that's the crane I was at before? Okay. So it's time to loop all the way back around. I might as well recheck the dam to see if anything else is lying around in there that I haven't seen before. But aside from that... Aside from that, uh, pretty much just gonna want to go check out that building on the far side that I shied away from checking out, because I'm like, I don't want to abandon the dam, but then my exploration of the other side of the dam led to me abandoning the thing that I didn't want to pre-explore, because I, I thought that was going to be where the game cuts me off, and I was wrong. Oh, the hole in the wall counts as a thing. 
I guess that makes sense. Ah. Uh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay. I've got you now. That's not where I want to go. Still getting turned around a lot. Like, there's the lab. Where's the lab fuse? Was it right down here? Here we go. Hopefully, I can access the lab now. I'm wondering if I can make water flow. Like this, there's a lot of pumping looking stuff around. Like, can I drain the dam so it's no longer full of bad? So now I have access to the lab. It has more beer in it. Ultra Pro Energy. That makes two packs of spares for the flashlight. Cooling beer with water. Finding the optimal conditions. Bottle shape and size. Beer crate shape and venting. Bottle layout in the crate. Gap between bottles in the crate. Water temperature. Water movement. Something else? Remember to dispose of all bottles properly after te each test. Somehow that's not a top priority. So much beer. What the heck is going on? Why did I do this? <laughs> huh. Physics! Look at them physics. That was weird. Oh, you work. What are you gonna do? There we go. Oh. And the effect of that was... Did I pump the water? Did I get my wish just now? All that water's still there. What did I just accomplish exactly? He went, there we go. And the game was like, give me a sound. Nothing pumping through there. And that just takes me back to my sneaky, weird exit. Can I turn this thing on? Not sure why I'd want to. currently getting a water flow sound, and when I turned it all the way over, I think it stopped. Let's see if I can find the water now. Is it down here? What did I do? Like, that pipe's making sounds now, I think. Right now with the lab, I'm kind of in the camp of, maybe that'll come up later. Yeah. Because uh, I can't find anything else to do relating to it. Like at all. 
That was the weird guy's office. Let's go back out past the power plant. Haven't been here for a little while. I'll probably get sidetracked and detoured a bit less often in the future by sites like this. Now that I've kind because I, I feel like I'm kind of getting an idea of what a point of no return looks like. Because it's like some sort of mechanical thing that happens where you, you're going to get locked in. And then it clearly is all like chapter change and stuff like that. So this is a logging mill? Chain looks fine. Hello, can I use that too? The funicular? Oh, it's already here. For once, nothing really feels that broken. Okay, that's slightly unnerving. Oh, that's just hanging there. Oh! Uh... Wow! What a weird... Broken thing. Uh, someone should fix that. Yeah. Oh, don't know how that happened. Nope, wasn't me. So in the background, we should probably be thinking about what seems to be a riddle. Because that corpse had a, had a series of numbers and letters and stuff on it. And then we had the weird code of F4. F4, three words. Sugar flakes. Let's just say I'm happy I'm recording all this because if there are weird clues I need to go back to for something like that, like F3, F4, three words and stuff like that, at least I can probably figure them out, but uh, at least I can go back through my archive a little bit. I don't think I trust any of this food. El Presidente Coffee. One kilogram. No keys this time. Dahlberg Times. Hammer Valley Hydro files for bankruptcy. No wonder there were problems letting logs through. Nineteen... 1982. It's a 101-year-old magazine. I mean, newspaper. Intriguing. You keep saying intriguing, but I feel like you never really comment on it. This area mostly just seems chill. I could jump in the hole, but I'm gonna see if I can access this, that area normally. But maybe this door doesn't open? Okay, door doesn't open. That might be why I had to do that. You can't even try to open outhouses. What if there's an important intel inside? How would you know? How about the back side? Oh, there's a staircase back here. Oh, right, I was here. Yeah, I remember being here. Alright then, hole. I'll give it a go. What could go wrong? Ow. Interesting color filter when that happens. Yeah, this is how this becomes... The story of, uh, Outlast. It's when I fall in a hole. 
<laughs> Sorry. When I fall in a hole like this. Can I just climb right up there? Well, if I need boxes, here they are. Ah. Like if I want to get over there. On. Ooh. Unmarked special keys I don't know the meaning of. For some reason. <laughs> Just collecting mystery keys and then not knowing where the hell they're even corresponding to. That's three packs of flashlight batteries. Well, that's good news. Meaning, remember to give letters to Toa? Not a photograph topic. Nothing really seemed broken in here. Got boxes I can grab if I want to. Oh, those are everywhere. Even these ones pick up. The window I was gazing through earlier. Yep, and here's the door I couldn't open. That was a weird sound. Ah, <laughs> little insight into how the audio works. Oh, that one doesn't work. Doesn't offer a lot of insight. Must require another key I still haven't found. They've already been up there. And I found an unmarked key, but I guess it's not for that one. Maybe it's this or something? Actually, that, that didn't seem unlocked. That didn't seem locked. Sounds like a to-do list. Notes. Take loan for toll on taxes. Done. Send half million dollars. Done. Send timber shipment. Done. Receive money. Pay logs. Pay debts. Confirmation of transfer. $500,000. Moil Muhol. Receiving accounts blotted out. Really hard to read. Jürgen, Ber Jürgen Bergen. <laughs> That's not his name. Uh, hard to read. They don't. They do not keep. Keep. Uh, they don't really do well with their notes here. I am Moil Muhol, and I contacted you as representative of Walter Construction Corporation's Foreign Development Branch with businesses proposal. With business proposal. We have a major construction project, uh, project going on here, and we are looking f uh, for good quality timber products. So we, can, it's just, it's just a. Uh... Okay, so they're looking for a partnership with the timber company, and they needed uh, half a million for tolls. Looks like they never received payment for their lumber. I'm really, really just mean to glassware, I find. Is 
Did it get weirdly dark the moment I used that door? Oh, the door changed color. That's what that's what I was looking at. Yeah, I almost missed all this area if I had, if I hadn't reloaded my save after going through that door. This entire area was apparently skippable. Okay, so the question is, how do I power that on? This is a strange game so far. It's oddly refreshing in some ways, but also, like, baffling in others. Okay. Just gonna save real quick. Get the odd feeling that I'll die from doing that. Don't touch that broken cable uh, when all the lights are on and make sure it isn't touching anything. Broken cable. Well, it did get electrocuted out down there, didn't it? I'm sure that water's not safe right now. The door opens. Hey, it's the this door. I take it across. Huh. Weird detail. Okay, I unlocked a bit of a shortcut, but was that worth it? I kind of made that whole area kind of inaccessible. But there also didn't seem to be anything else to do in there. That's a dangerous ass area. It's a weird thing that giant things like this important can be like just sort of abandoned. Like it's no big deal. I should check to see if I can photograph that weird mess down there. Slipped my mind for a moment there. But I got my I got my mind back. So I wanna see what I can do if I go up this weird tram thing, which I assume works. But it might not. And then maybe I'll find a key for this guy. Because that doesn't open. Wait, can I climb this? Curious. Can I pick up that box? No? It looked slightly bright in the distance, so I was kind of curious. Because if I could pick it up, I was wondering if I could use it to stand on. I don't think there's any boxes nearby that work that way, though. I think they're only downstairs. Yeah, this room didn't have boxes either. That seems intentional. If I could put up a box right there, I could jump on it and then jump on the roof. Although the roof kind of looks like it's not really going to get me much. Photograph that. <laughs> okay, so we're not getting up there. 
That's the takeaway from that. And how do I get in that mystery room? I can't turn any of this on, I don't think. So nothing's gonna happen here. We might... We might be done then. But I want into that room because I think it's like the one room I haven't been in in the entire game so far. I think I've been able to get into everything that was ever locked. Like, there's some stuff that literally doesn't, like, open or close, but that's different. Like, stuff that doesn't seem to even be a real door. Like, sure, I haven't been through that, technically. I, I don't exactly see a secret passage anywhere. Is supposed to be drawing a Bigfoot and then, like, rabbits or something? Life is weird, man. <laughs> Everything's weird. No one left, like, keys in the ignition or something? As far as I can tell, I can't operate this or photograph it. Nope. Let's check behind the logs. It's like the only place I haven't checked. Nope, not gonna bet on that either. Maybe if I jump up and down a lot, the uh, floor will collapse. Part of me does wonder if this thing has, like, an on button, and then that'll break the whole thing somehow. But that's not exactly my job. And if this thing's working, I should probably not break it. Oh yeah, we can't undo this. I can't, like, crank it back up. Well, alrighty then. I think we're done here. And by extension, we might be done with everything all the way up until, uh, how do I get back out of here? Down here, right? Whoopsie. Trying to kill myself. I think we're done with chapter two. I think I'm gonna go back to that area that, that continued forward. I think I've run out of places to check out. B1, C3, F1, B2, F2, C4, E4, G3, B2, G1, F4, B4, B2, G1, G2. That's a long freaking code to figure out. B752423, EL93FA342A, A, G2222. Uh, I'm inclined to think the one at the body might mean something, but there are also just, like, numbers and letters all over the place in this game. There's, like, a certain element of, like, trying to sort meaning out of chaos, right? Alright. Let's try this one again. 